Hey, what's good? This is Black Authentic Truth, and I want to talk about Juneteenth being a federal holiday, the initiative to turn it into a national federal holiday. What's surprising is the quickness and how fast they were able to get this going and get this started up. It's almost ironic, and the timing is real crazy if you really think about it. And it seems to me that America has studied black people and understand that we want to be pacified. We need you to name a street after us. We need you to uh, give us positions and we need you to make holidays in order to pacify us. And what I mean by that is a child, a baby, when they cry and they whine, you give them a pacifier and they'll stop crying and whining. A la black people complaining and protesting and asking for justice. Juneteenth is not uh, justice. Juneteenth is not uh, reparations. Juneteenth ain't none of that, right? Juneteenth is a holiday that a week ago, most black people, if you asked them what it was, they wouldn't even know. So if you ask black people, some will say that they've been celebrating Juneteenth since they was a kid. Then you have black people that never heard of Juneteenth. Then you have black people like me that heard of Juneteenth, but I put it in the same category as like Kwanzaa or something, right? And didn't really know about it as far as what, what the research I do, I learned about Juneteenth, right? The news that the slaves being free reached Galveston, Texas, the slaves two years later, they hadn't heard that they were free. So in celebration every year, you know, the church would have gatherings and they would have food festivals on that anniversary. So over the years, it changed until, you know, what it is today. And like I said, most black people, if you asked them, they wouldn't know. Most black people couldn't even tell you what the year the Emancipation Proclamation was. Juneteenth being a national holiday is not a gain. It's not a victory for black people. Another thing you got to think about, which kind of don't sit with me well, is the fact that this is a government holiday. This is for federal employees or government employees. Well, most black people work jobs that are not government jobs, but these jobs keep America running. So a lot of people are going to be off, right? That work for the government and even some white folks are gonna be off. But the vast majority of black people that work your everyday jobs in janitorial and transportation and warehouse, they're not gonna have a day off. So they're not gonna even be able to benefit for this. So this is something that is not even specific to black people that helps black people in any kind of way other than just being symbolism. And so we find ourselves in a merry-go-round with black people. We're like in a merry-go-round of you know asking uh, for justice, asking for reparations, asking for change, asking for things you know to fix uh, systematic racism. And we're in this complete circle that we keep finding ourselves in the same spot. And I believe that United States government has, they have watched us for a long time and studied the blueprint. The blueprint is to give you a holiday, a day off, a day off to do what? A day off to, you know, barbecue, a day off to get, get high, get drunk. You know what I mean? But they have studied you and in time and time again, they understand that these things are considered big gains. These things, even the playing field in the Negro's mind. In the Negro's mind, this is an even playing field. In the Negro's mind, this says that there is no systematic racism. This says that we're all on an equal playing field in the Negro's mind. They understand that. And that's the reason why they, they play the soundbite from Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream, every year, because they understand that this puts our people in a stupor, that we go back to the 60s and think that we can still have that same hope that those people had, you know what I mean? And they never play you the soundbite of Martin Luther King saying that he felt as though he has integrated his people into a burning house. They ain't gonna never play that one, but they will play the I have a dream and keep you a token Negro and keep you thinking a certain kind of way. And uh, it is not a game for black people. It is not gonna change anything for black people. And if they were fast enough to push that through, you know, the Senate and Congress and all of that to get this federal holiday, why couldn't they be fast enough to get Flint, Michigan to water? Why couldn't they be fast enough to get reparations? You know, reparations, they said they had to do a study. They had to do a deep dive into understanding reparations and how would they pay it out, right? But they didn't take that long to pay millions and millions of people trillions and trillions of dollars in stimulus checks you see they do what they want to do you know what i mean they do what they think they should do this giving you a federal holiday ain't hurting nothing but what it does do is put you in a stupor and it does put us in a, in a place 
where we're stuck in a cycle where we're continually will still be asking and asking 20 years from now. So they could have passed something real fast, but they didn't. They could have passed the stop black hate bill. They did that with the Asians. Why couldn't they do that with black people? See, you got to really, really analyze what's going on. And that's why I say this is so ironic that this thing came out right now. But it also shows you how simple we are as black people as a whole. We are very simple and anything that they give us, we will look at it as a major game. So that's just something to think about straight up and down. So let me know what you think about what I just said in the comments. Shout out to everybody that's been commenting on my videos. I'ma definitely give feedback. I'ma interact with y'all. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Make sure you spread the word. And with that, this is Black Authentic Truth.